I want to calculate the freezing point of a 2.6 molal aqueous sucrose solution. So I know I need the freezing point, right? That's what it's asking for. So what's important with the freezing point? Well, I need to know the molal and I need to know a constant. So I've written the constant of water here. Remember, this is something that you probably should have memorized. Now, how do I calculate? Well, I have a formula. So I'm going to have delta T sub F equals the molality times the constant. Well, like we said, we have the molality, so that's 2.6 molality times the constant, which is 1.86 degrees C over the molality. Now, why did I write it that way? Because I want to make sure that my units are going to cancel, because if they don't cancel, then I know that I don't have the correct uh, constant. So I have degree C, which I know is a change in temperature. When I multiply these two together, I get 4.836 degrees C. Well, now that's the change, but it asks for the actual freezing point. So when does water freeze in degrees Celsius? It's at zero degrees. Now I write these vertically because I think it's easier to see the subtraction and to find your final um, significant figure. That's entirely up to you. So when I subtract these, I get minus 4.836. Now, if you're doing it, if you really have 0, 0.00, then you would come to this last number here. However, that's not given to us, right? You could have used 0, you may have used 0, 0.0, so I'm going to come back to the original equation. And I notice up here there's how many significant figures in 2.6 molality? Well, there's 2, so I come to the 8, I look to the next number, the answer is going to be minus 4.8 degrees C.